Hello, you all. You already know what we about to get into. We about to get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. We about to get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. Okay, somebody used somebody. Somebody could have been in school. Somebody used somebody. It's something about a false pregnancy here. Somebody lied and said they changed, but they didn't. Yeah, somebody creepy as fuck. Just some creepy shit. This person could have been spreading rumors and shit. Yeah, somebody was into some type of underground black market or being corrupted. Somebody gonna get shown who the fuck somebody is. Show them who the fuck you is. Show this karmic feminine who the fuck you is. Somebody could be a loner or an introvert type. Somebody was doing some shit for personal gain here. Somebody received some sort of bad service too as well. Possibly with some root work. Somebody was doing root work for personal gain. But they should have been careful because they don't know who protects you. This is a piece of shit. This could also be a messy family member. It's going to learn a karmic lesson. Somebody be poisoning somebody food and or drink. This person like to do shit like that. They keep this shit private. Somebody could be a, a deadbeat mom or had a deadbeat mom or they are or they're surrounded by one. Somebody brother going through a crazy breakup. Yeah, something is top secret here. Something was supposed to be top secret about this person talking behind your back. Yeah, this person also something could have been top secret. This person could have hired a hitman. There's something about a miscarriage here. Or their associate has some sort of miscarriage. Or you can associate whoever this is with some sort of miscarriage or some bullshit. Stolen property. Somebody tried to steal something. Somebody thought they won a prize, but they won a weak-ass bitch or a weak-ass man. Could, which also could be a weak-ass bitch. <laughs> Yeah, Toxic King, I just seen. Bottom of the deck, poison food and drink. Bottom of the deck, steady putting love and sex magic on people. Don't want someone to like you for you. So somebody be putting shit in people's food and drink so they could fuck with them. All right, y'all, you already know. We finna get some uh, tarot to see what else we can see here. This is somebody, uh, family members, messy ass family members. Or is this somebody family member that was doing this? Yeah, this somebody family member and shit. Creepy as hell. <laughs> so let's see what we can see with the, uh, with the tarot. We got the background of basically what this person be on. Somebody family member could have hired a hitman on their ass. Something was top secret. This person was talking behind your back and shit. I'm telling you, an enemy. Yeah, somebody secretly gave somebody something. Secretly gave somebody a gift here to block you somehow. Somebody wanted you desolate, fucked up, heartbroken, and sick. The truth is being illuminated about what somebody wanted, but you're going to get some type of clarity with the Ace of Swords about this karmic devil that's been manifesting against you and shit. They're, you're going to get a breakthrough on this devil. This person that was doing all of this cruelty and shit and manifesting against you, putting their teachings to use, trying to have other people put their teachings to use on you because this, this is going to be an empty victory here. They're going to walk off fucked up because they're not going to get this victory over you. Somebody got some hating ass fucked up family members. This is foul. But this is what they decided to do for greed and for your uh, energy and your, cre your creativity and your new beginnings. They made this major decision. And you could be even loving. These people didn't like, mm, mm, mm. these people tried to dead your ass for your spiritual inheritance. Yeah, somebody put their talents to service and tried to manipulate the energy, manipulate your success, your forward movement. 
all for greed to try to hold you back. This is crazy. Energy harvesting. And whoever they tried to get to knock you off with this hitman or whatever the case may be, judgment is being called on them. Because they tried to confuse whoever this was. They also could have tried to confuse the justice system. They getting caught the fuck up. Whoever this is. And if you held back from this from this dude, because this person was gonna, this person was trying to figure out what's the options and possibilities to do something to you. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio. Yeah, these people, this somebody going to jail. Eight of Swords. These motherfuckers gonna end up in jail. The signs that's out here is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, and Pisces. Could be you or them. This is foul, but these motherfuckers going to jail. This could be the hitman, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio. Somebody going to jail. Yeah, somebody was supposed to set a trap for you. You just being with this higher level consciousness, healing angel energy, somebody tried to trap you to cause you a dead end, to put you in a ten of swords, to cause you some sort of burdens, ten ten. Somebody could see ten ten. Yeah, somebody paid somebody in abundance to do some shit. Or they told them, hey, I'll give you da 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 Somebody could be a Virgo. There was some type of fast communication that came in. Somebody was really trying to cause you ongoing battles. And this is this is spiritually with this fucking root work and physically with this fucking hitman. Yeah. The communication came in fast. Somebody wanted you laid to rest out of fear. This fucking witch, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Queen of Pentacles. This person gonna get laid to rest though. This person could be a part of some sort of group cult. Some type of bullshit. This person feel like they some type of, I don't know, hierarchy or something. I don't fucking know. Just weird. Yep, tower. Or they could even be a Scorpio. This person coming in. This this person gonna have a tower here. Because they they attacked you multiple times. Many options to attack you in multiple multiple different ways with the Seven of Swords. Just because they wanted a victory. <laughs> <coughs> Just because they wanted a victory on you. They wanted your attention. Like, this shit weird. So they did some thoughtless, careless shit. And now it's going to cause them a difficult journey for the risk that they took. That's what they tried to cause you. To mess with your stability and shit. Like, ugh. Just raggedy ass people. These, these people. This, somebody partnered up with another person too. With a Queen of Wands. Could be their partner in crime or something like that. Or Aries Leo Sag. These people was completing, you know, making plans on you, maybe for a long ass time with the Knight of Pentacles, but bottom of the deck, these hoes don't get karma for the shit. Whoever involved, y'all all fucking getting karma. These people could have even had two men going against you, maybe that they fuck with. But you gonna get justice for this shit. Cause something gonna change uh, with these men too as well, even in their lives. Like this shit crazy. Where's my blood thicker than water deck at? Because these hoes is crazy as fuck. We're going to pull some blood thicker than water. For the love of money. Splitting the deck. So these, these, these family members could be tight-knit. You got my back, I got your back. For the love of money. Weird ass hoes. And these bitches act high so diddy. Y'all are trash. Hasa Diddy trash. <laughs> That's what the fuck y'all is. Yeah, be careful. Especially if you poor or middle class. Be careful of getting together and vibing with these motherfuckers. Because shit. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody on some bullshit. Some of these people could have grew up in the same household that was against you too as well. Planting roots. Look at this shit. Root planter, sacrificer. 
whoever grew up in the same household, they like to plant roots and sacrifice people. There could have been arguments, drama, fights. These bitches do bad business, but they got each other back, though. <laughs> they got each other back, though. They always show up for each other. But you could be distant from them because these hoes be in competition and got the audacity to be judgmental. Sick fucks. These bitches pray together with an E, praying. That's what the fuck they do. Tight, close unit. Yeah, these bitches be off some he said, she said stuff. There could be some family secrets, rape, molestation. Somebody going to jail or prison. That's what it came out. Or this could, you know, that could happen within the family too. There, there's also a friend that's like family that could be involved in some shit. They might end up going to jail. Somebody could end up having some sort of new addition, a new baby or something. Yeah, these people be hanging with the ops. So somebody was... Somebody was hanging with the ops. And somebody just had some sort of new addition. But somebody was hanging with the ops here. These people stick together. <laughs> somebody gonna end up with a physical illness. I just seen. Yeah, somebody was telling somebody congratulations or... Whatever the case may be. Yeah, these bitches be throwing rocks, but they live in a glass house. These bitches is toxic as fuck. You might want to stay away from somebody going to be rich or famous. You're going to be healthy, peaceful, and fruitful. Somebody, some of these people can even like to show you love in private. Show love privately. Somebody is also in the corporate life. Hater alert corporate life bottom of the deck funeral there will be funerals even if they your family the motherfuckers don't get no pass doing no weak weird shit like that something about a funeral is best apart because motherfuckers about to start dying funeral best apart because motherfuckers about to start getting put in the motherfucking graveyard also somebody is also using you so one of your family members could be using you it's not love Somebody don't claim your ass. That's not my family, but they'd probably be the main one talking about some congratulations and shit. Or somebody was celebrating some sort of murder plot against you. Like, this shit weird. And then you could be the type that shit. If somebody trying to do something to your family or whatever the case may be, you all in because they your family. But these motherfuckers don't look at you like that. You could look at them like that, but these some weird assholes. But they're going to get caught up in some shit. I see jail. I see death. I see illness, sickness, embarrassment. I see a whole lot of shit. This going to happen to these motherfuckers for trying to be your motherfucking enemy. Some shit about to change here with this Wheel of Fortune. So even if any of your family members wanted to be your enemy, they didn't make the wrong motherfucking enemy. And this is sad because you know you it's family. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes them be the karmics in your life too, though. But this some sad ass shit. Sad ass shit right here. We're gonna get some grateful heart messages because what they want ain't gonna uh prevail, but they sure gonna get fucked up though. And go through some fucked up shit for they fucked up ways. Shit. I wish I wouldn't be going to no family member funeral. Shit. Shit. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Can we get some grateful heart messages, please? It says here, if Yahweh is for me, I will have no fear. So I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Oh, Yahweh, you are so good, ready to forgive, so full of unfailing love for who all ask for your help. The blessing of Yahweh be upon you. Yahweh crowns you with love and mercy, a paradise crown. He wraps you in goodness, beauty eternal. 
May Yahweh grant your heart's desires, making all your plans succeed. Yahweh is good and his love endures forever. The faithful love of Yahweh never ends and his mercies never cease. Yahweh will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Yahweh, endures forever. Whenever we are appreciative, we are filled with a sense of well-being and swept up by the feeling of joy. So I hope you all got a message. That'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace.